Rafaela, according to research from Microsoft and LinkedIn, only 25% of companies are planning to offer training on generative AI tools like ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot. Is that concerning to you or is the hesitation founded? Uh, what's your advice to CEOs who want to incorporate tools like this in their businesses, but they don't know where to start and they're very much worried about the effects of hallucinations, misuse, things like that? Yeah. So look, I you know I come clean here. I teach strategy in a business school. So I'm going to say that the first thing that these CEOs should do is think about how the incorporation of these technologies eventually builds their competitive advantage. And I feel that this is a point that is often missed in the attention that we pay to the uh, uh, to the application uh, and the technology itself. But I think that a very fundamental point is. Why are we doing this? And how is this going to help us differentiate from other organizations? I think this matters. And um, uh, it's something that matters because that's how you explain to your organization why you want them to learn new tools. Because, you know, one of the issues that comes up in these training programs is incredibly low take up often. And that is part of the part of the story is that we don't really explain to our workers and uh, to our middle managers, for that matter, why they should be um, upskilling. The second point is, I think it would be very important at this point to build a basic literacy across all levels, also non-technical levels, because we are at a point of extreme uncertainty where, although the consumer side may be learning how to use these technologies, the application of this technology in the specific uh, you know, business model is still very uncertain. So, you know, this happens in the industrial revolution. This happened in the ICT revolution. This is a point in which there is tremendous value in, con in experimentation, if possible, control experimentation, where we can actually measure the returns and compare different approaches. And for that to happen, you need to give people the same language and the, if you like, the familiarity or the lack of uh, fear of engaging, uh, in engaging with a new technology. I'd say, however, that another point here is that perhaps on the on the flip side, even people who are familiar with the technology um, should perhaps think about upskilling not so much their technical expertise but their soft skills, because those people have the keys to interact with other parts of the organization that might not be as technical, but they may have the right expertise to put the technology at use. And so I think that this is, you know, part of part, my advice to the CEOs would be to consider this as a strategic problem that involves different parts of the organization and involves also their uh, communication skills.